Here we can solve the problem number 23 in the page number 63 of your CAD drawing solution book. So there you can see that the pentagonal object with the coordinate position resting on HP in the first position and in the second position the object is inclined to HP by an angle of 30 degree. Then in the third position object is inclined to VP by an angle of 45 degree with respect to the bisector passing through the corner. So we need to find out bit angle. So we will go through the construction. So here in that a computer sketching, just you can see that a toolbar, drawing toolbar, drawing views, ribbon bar and main toolbar. First, in the first step, before going to construct any problem, you have to do sheet setup, right click on sheet 1, sheet setup, select A4, unselect show background, save defaults and OK. Then you can select line command, continuous line, 0.13 mm thickness. Just you can draw an XY line, a thin line, approximately at the middle of the drawing sheet. For a straight line, you can specify the angle of 0 degree in the keyboard and you will get a horizontal thin line and right click. To mention a text there, select text command with a font size of 1.25 mm in the capital letter. You can mention X and Y here and mention VP above the XY line and HP below the XY line. In the next step, select line command, continuous line, point 5 mm thickness to construct the pentagonal object, left click anywhere on the drawing sheet. And then in the keyboard, in the first step, you have to specify a length of 25 mm, angle is 0, length is 25, angle is 72 degree, and again length is 25, angle is 72 plus 72, 144 degree, again length is 25 mm, angle is minus 144 degree. Again length is 25, angle is minus 72 degree, so we will get a pentagonal object, a regular pentagonal object of 25 mm. So that we need to place the object according to the corner position, you can select the entire object, select rotate command. After selecting this rotate command, just you have to switch off this rotate and copy and select this leftmost corner, move the, cu move the cursor on this line, you will get a symbol, the end point, left click there. Again, you will select the lowermost endpoint of the object in the left side, exactly where you are getting the endpoint symbol, left click there. Then in the rotation angle, you can specify an angle of 18 degree. So 18 is the 90 minus 72 is the remaining angle is 80, so we need to specify 18 here. Just press enter. So for the corner position, you need to move the cursor upward. Then for the edge position, you need to move the cursor downward direction. So then you can place the object just below the XY line. Then for the front view, select line command, 0.13 mm thickness from the each end point. Draw a thin projection line here up to the XY line. All these projection lines should be a vertical thin line. Again, for the front view, change the thickness, make it 0.5 mm. Select this line and left click, then right click. And once you are completing this initial position, you have to recheck all these edges and this endpoint by selecting zoom area command. You have to recheck all these edges by selecting this command. Then select fit. Then select the text command there. And this endpoint A in the small letter. And this one is the point B, point C, then point D and point E here. Then in the front view, this is the point A dash and again there that is B dash of E dash similarly at the right side it is C dash of D dash ok then for the front view I mean second position front view select this line view select this line view hold the control in your keyboard select all these a projection line then select move command, please do switch on this move and copy command because we need one more copy of this object. Select this endpoint here and just you can place the object exactly on this XY line. You have to ch uh, check for that symbol point on the element on the XY line. Then directly you can select rotate command, select the leftmost endpoint here on the front view, left click and select the rightmost endpoint here. Then we can specify, so as we have seen in the problem statement earlier, object is inclined to HP by an angle of 30 degree, so you can specify 30 degree with respect to HP and press enter. Okay?
Then for the next step, select line command, continuous line, 0.13 mm thickness. From this end point, just you can draw a, a vertical thin projection line. Again, move the cursor on this thin line, exactly where you are getting that center end point symbol. Left click, then draw one vertical thin line. Similarly, from this end point here, left click, then draw one a vertical thin line. After that, select the selection tool, hold the control and select all these extra line and you can select delete. In the next step, to complete the projection from the point E, draw a horizontal thin line. Again from the point D, draw a horizontal line from the point A, then from the point C, then from the point B, draw one horizontal thin line. And then with the help of a trim command, you can trim this extra line. Then to give a notation for this, a second position front and top wheel. Select move command, switch on move and copy. Select this notation and you can place it here. So this is the easiest way to represent a notation in case of second position. So this is the point D, left click here and left click. Then you can move the notation to the desired position there. Similarly in the front wheel, you can move a notation there. Keep it nearer to this. And don't forget to mention the dimension, every dimension and the angle, it's very important. To, to avoid any mistakes during the construction, it's very essential to identify this dimension there. After that, you can select line command, continuous line 0.5 mm thickness, select zoom area command. Then we'll start with the point A, search for this point of intersection here, left click, then A to B, A to B, draw a thick line, then B to C. C to D, D to E, E to A. So that's the projection for this a second position a top view. In the next step, as we know that whenever they're given the statement like the bisector passing through the resting corner, that is inclined to VP, we need to find out beta angle with the help of this bisector, the true and apparent bisector. For that, we need to differentiate this true and apparent bisector, we'll trim this extra line. Later, we can join this with the help of this, extend the next command. So, select this smart dimension, select this line, bisector length, left click. A true bisector length is 38.47 millimeter. That should be constant value. If you are get other than 38.47, the value will be wrong. That, should, that means that there may be some mistake in any problem. So, you have to recheck your problem once again. And also this apparent bisector length that should be 33.32. If you are not getting this value, please you have to recheck your problem once again. For the next step, to construct the beta angle, select line command, 0.13 mm thickness. Just from this, an XY line, an XY line. Just you can draw a line of the given 45 degree with respect to VP. Just you can draw a line of a 45 degree from the XY line. So. It's very essential to mention the angle there to avoid the mistake in the further. Then, by taking this true bisector length of 38.47 mm, select this command, arc by center point command, a continuous line 0.13 mm thickness, anywhere on this 45 degree line. Please, I will ensure that. You can take anywhere on this 45 degree line, left click, then specify the radius of 38.47 mm present then you can cut an arc then select line command a locus line 0.13 mm thickness from this point of intersection draw one locus in the next step by taking that same arc by center point command select this apparent bisector 33.32 mm from the same end point here the center point symbol so it's not visible there for that, you have to just move the cursor on this arc, we are getting a center point symbol there. Left click exactly on that center point, you can specify the radius of 33.32 mm, then cut an arc on this locus line. So this should be a continuous line. Later, select this line command, 0.13 mm, continuous line. From this point of intersection, draw a line up to this center of this uh, left click. Then you can select this extend the next command and this line should be extended up to, up to this XY line. 
and we can find out the beta angle it should be a greater than a given angle 45 degree okay it's approximately the beta angle is approximately 10 degree greater than a given angle then you can select the uh, text command we can select the point a here we can take this end point as a and we can take this end point there here as the point m c a, a m and this one is m1 there here we can represent m and this m1 in the next step select the selection tool and you have to select this entire top view second position top view by dragging the cursor with the help of all the notation then you can select move command please you have to select move and copy command because we need to obtain the one more copy of the second position top view select this end point here exactly we need to select this end point here a left click then you have to search for that point of intersection you can observe you can observe that point of intersection symbol there left click then you can select rotate command select the leftmost end point as the fixed point and select the rightmost end point as a rotation so this point m1 should be coincided with this here we'll zoom that particular portion you have to search for that point of intersection symbol still you're not getting a point of intersection mean you have to zoom that particular area you can it's clearly visible there the point of intersection symbol just beside of the cursor left click there then we'll select the fit command later later so we have obtained all these endpoint here a b c d e all these things to construct the third position front view so like line command continuous line 0.13 millimeter thickness from the point c dash of d dash draw a horizontal line so the point c is here just draw a vertical thin projection line similarly from the point d just draw a vertical thin line if you're not getting a straight line please mention 90 degree as an angle okay again from the point b dash of e dash just draw a horizontal line there from the point b you can draw a vertical line i'm telling you again all these lines should be either vertical or horizontal all vertical lines should have an angle of 90 degree all horizontal lines should have an angle of 0 degree or 180 degree in the next step you can see that the point a dash lies on x y line so from the point a by specifying an angle of 90 degree just draw a vertical line up to this x y line so we can specify the notation there this is the end point that is a dash and similarly the point b dash is here that's the b dash this one is c dash and at the right side it is d dash then again on the last end point it is e dash later you can select the line command continuous line 0.5 millimeter thickness from the point a dash move the cursor on this vertical line exactly where you are getting the end point symbol left click there then from the point a dash to b dash draw a thick line a dash, b dash to c dash c dash to d dash and d dash to e dash e dash to a dash so this is the projection for this uh, given problem number 23 in the page number 63 about the beta angle problem okay and make sure that this angle and once you are completing the problem you have to recheck all these endpoint there you have to recheck this join where you are joining the line there you have to recheck all these the endpoint and you have to mention all the notation and the angle in each position so that's it thank you